uh, in the 1920s, at, at the time uh, uh, Barberg was developing his idea of, of oxidation, uh, a, a man in England, uh, David Kylin, uh, was working on another side of, of oxidation uh, with these cytochromes, and he found that uh, when an insect flight muscle or a bird flight muscle, a very energetic muscle, when it was uh, contracting and highly stimulated, the pigment that he was studying disappeared, showing that there was uh, no oxygen present. Uh, the uh, extreme activity had consumed all of the oxygen momentarily uh, and shifted the cell and those pigments into a reduced state of mm. excess electrons. Huh. Uh, and so this was, uh, St. Georgie and, and Kylin were simultaneously working on the ideas that uh, uh, William Frederick Koch at the University of um, uh, Michigan had uh, developed independently, uh, that it's the flow of electrons through the system to oxygen, uh, which has to be continuous. And when something uh, overstimulates or irritates an area, the idea of irritation and or carcinogenic smoke and so on was already known. And, and the um, irritating effect of estrogen, for example, uh, was already known. Uh, so uh, uh, the, the idea of excitation exhausting the uh, tissue oxygen uh, was at the center of, of the idea of what cancer is. Uh, Varberg uh, described uh, his thought at that time as uh, the cancer uh, has a defect in respiration which makes it lack the Pasteur effect, which was what Pasteur had seen in yeast, was that um, uh, oxygen normally causes the yeast to stop fermenting, right. to stop producing mm -hmm. lactic acid or ethanol in the case mm -hmm. of beer. Um, but St. George, he said, uh, there's something wrong with the system that uh, prevents cancer from uh, even in the presence of oxygen, from being able to turn off that excitatory process that produces lactic acid. So uh, there's something keeping the cell in the excited state. And uh, that that's where uh, the details have been developed now uh, over the, the last 90 years since Barberg expressed that idea. Uh, what are the things that can turn off the excite? the ex excess of stimulation, and let uh, the oxygen, uh, which can be present, let the oxygen do its work mm -hmm. um, to turn off the lactic acid production. So it's a form of, um, of energy production the body has as like a backup mechanism. When, it, when it's not using oxygen properly, then it converts to using sugar. Sugar and it's inefficient and it's wasteful and it over excites the cell. Is that I'm just trying to understand um, this myself and also put yeah. it into some a little bit more understandable terms for our yeah, listeners. When, when it's either deficient in oxygen or overstimulated, uh, so, so that it used up all the oxygen because yeah. it was overstimulated. Yeah, so it's the same thing as uh, suffocating or being overstimulated. There's no oxygen to turn off the production of lactic acid. And then the lactic acid itself is an irritant, uh, a, a stimulant. It shifts the cell away from the use of oxygen towards the production of more lactic acid. 